Good morning. Welcome back. Well, if you were thinking of adopting a pet, but just maybe you haven't had time to look around, we've got some great news for you. News 12 has teamed up with McKamey Animal Center in an effort to help you find a new companion. Joining us this morning from McKamey, we have Trisha Sebus. Good morning, Trisha. Good morning. It's been quite some time since we've had some little kitties yes. on the show. Um, we've got some spunky monkeys. We do. We do. Morning. Who do you have? We. I have Telly. Well, I have Kadabi, <laughs> and we think <laughs> that that's an odd name. So we are going to we'll rename her. Yes, <laughs> well, to be determined. To be determined. Um, so th you brought these kittens because you are doing a special for mm -hmm. feral cat. Yes. Awareness. Um, October 16th is Feral Cat Friday, and it's yes. a, a national day recognizing um, feral cats. <laughs> cats <laughs> clearly don't like me. So feral cats are basically um, wild animals. Yes. They're, they're cats just like um, your, your house cat, um, but they are not socialized. You can't touch them, you can't pet them, and they yes. live out in the wild basically, but they live in our community in Chattanooga. We mm -hmm. have a lot of feral cats here in Chattanooga. Um, and so instead of uh, bringing them into shelters, they, we can't adopt them out because they're right. not social. So what we do is a trap, neuter, return program where we trap them, we spay and neuter them, and we release them back out. Mm -hmm. um, they're out there. They have a food source somewhere because they are thriving. Um, or we have caretakers around town that will feed them. Um, and that way they can continue to live their lives, but they're not uh, making more cats. And, Reproducing. And spay and, spayed and neutered feral cats are uh, a lot more manageable. You've got a lot less yowling in the middle of the night yes. and getting into things. Um, I will say this. So mm. uh, being the kind-hearted <laughs> steward of the community that I am, I rescued a kitten, and mm. this has been a couple of years ago, and it turns out that she is, in fact, a feral cat. Well, we tried to make her an indoor cat and you're talking about the howling and yowling yeah. she is a different type yes of cat yes. Um, she is very odd um, <laughs> she minds her own business though I'll say there are good benefits mm -hmm. to uh, a feral cat she minds her own business but now don't touch her don't talk to her mm -hmm. don't even look at her you just put <laughs> her food out <laughs> and she'll yeah she'll let you know when she needs something they're interesting they're and they're very important especially because we have a river running through our community mm -hmm. because we have a lot of river rats so uh -huh. Uh, feral cats take care of of those river rats for us, so very good. Every every part of the uh, the ecosystem yes. is important. Circle of life. <laughs> yes. Circle of life. So every Friday we are doing um, free spay and neuter for feral cats. You have to be a Chattanooga City resident mm -hmm. um, to participate, but if you have a feral cat hanging around your house or your business or your school, um, you can bring them into McKamey and we will spay and neuter that cat for free on Friday. Free. Feral Friday. I'm gonna. I can, I'm not even <laughs> going to attempt to say that. I know that I could not. Um, you may have already said this, but I wanted to reiterate: At what age can you spay or neuter any animal, but especially cats? At what age? I know it's very young. Um, it depends on the veterinarian. Um, mm -hmm. We're very fortunate that we have a veterinarian that does pediatric surgery, and he will do them as early as six weeks old, as oh, long wow. as they're two pounds and healthy. Okay, very yeah. good. So if you have a, uh, a kitten or a puppy at home, but especially right now we're talking about cats, get in touch with McKamey and they can give you some good information. Yeah. Trisha, thank you so much. We're going to put some information up on the screen. If you would like to adopt any of the amazing animals there at McKamey, you can always stop by and see them, give them a call, or head to their website at McKamey Animal Center.org. We're going to take a short break. Stay with us.